is Liz Draws, and today I'm going to show you guys how to make ramen on the stove. And it's going to be great, and it's just, I'm going to show you exactly how to draw, not to draw, but how to make ramen. And also, for the thing I was holding up my phone, is a ramen, like, box thing. So, yeah, or, every, today's all about ramen, okay? Let's do this. So, basically, you would get yourself, um, what's it called? A pan, or whatever you call it. I don't know where exactly where you're from or exactly what's called, what's called. But you have a pan, you have a pan here, and you fill it up with water in here, of course. And I'm gonna fill it up with water. It knows me. It only needs to be halfway. So here, you put it on the stove like so, as you can see, right there. Okay. So. Then you're gonna find your. See that you have two switches right here. Make sure you guys see that closer. So you have two switches right here, as you can see. Two of them. Oh, they're different. <laughs> Bad camera angle. Okay, we'll get these to this. So you have two um, knobs right here. So what these circles are on the stove equals where these little circles on here, where the uh, the hot surface on the stove would boil the water, okay? So we're gonna use this one is directly to this one in the front. I know it's weird, but you'll get used to it as you get cooking. I started cooking. So we're gonna turn it on to six. Uh, six is the highest to lowest temperature heat. Sorry guys. <laughs> I'm malfunctioning today. But we're gonna stay easy at that. So as you can see, it's getting hot. Um, you can tell. There you go. It's purple. It's, pur it's, cool. it's cool. It's purple on screen, but it's on uh, in real life or in, in IRL, it's red, but okay. So next part, we are going to wait until it boils. So as you can tell, when it starts to boil, there's like little bubbles and then that's normal. It's okay when that happens. It's okay. It's okay to be scared and it's okay because we all do this, okay? We all be weird. We all, we all be scared. We all be good weird in the front of the camera. Not like that. Excuse me. But we all get like nervous and like, well, I don't know if you're gonna like my views and everything like that. But it's gonna be okay. Everybody makes mistakes, everybody learns from their mistakes. So that's why I do videos and make you guys happy and just do videos in just general. And yet again, with like art and cooking, everything does not have to be perfect. Just like makeup doesn't have to be perfect. Like getting ready for the day, as you can see, as you can tell. So it doesn't have to be perfect. So. So I'm, gonna, I'm looking in the pot just to see until the, at the water boiling it. So it's like not there, but it's okay to put the uh, cup noodle or the ramen, for instance. Not sponsored by this company. Don't even ask me to say it because I can't say it properly, okay? That's how you know I'm not a professional, but that's okay. So after this boils, so as you can see, like little bubbles like boiling in the pot with the water. Wrong frame. That's okay. Um, so we're gonna wait until that boils, and then you'll hear. Is it like 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 we made popcorn like last time? You don't hear like popping sound. It, it you can tell when it's ready, cause like it starts to like all foam up, you know, uh, over the pot. It's kind of like that. Um, it does make like bubbles, but it just shows you you don't like hear it. So yeah. So I'm gonna wait here for a little while and uh, let's just try to set this on a higher speed, a uh, higher setting, excuse me. I'm not professional like I said, but it's okay. Uh, okay. So it's starting to like boil a tiny bit. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. Tiny bubbles. So what I'm talking about? It's like the bubbles are tiny. Now as you can tell, it's starting to form and it's starting to make its monster and create this nice ramen and stuff so yeah this is the way i make ramen i don't know you guys probably make i know you made it the same way but you like you probably put stuff in it with like cheese in it or herbs or i don't know like eggs maybe in there but this is just how i do it and i'm like normal i just like make ramen like it says as directions do and yeah so i'll show you on the package of the ramen um uh, a little covered it says, boil two cups of water in, this, in a saucepan. 
Okay, this can be called a saucepan, a bowl. I don't know any words for it. I can't think of it right now. But it's starting to boil. It's like in the form of boiling. Um, so it's add noodles and cook for three minutes during occasionally. So that's before it starts to boil. And when it's boiling, then we put the noodles in there. And then put this handy dandy little clock here for three minutes. Stir it. Make sure it's all al dente. Al dente means it's all soft and like they look like you can eat them. If they're like crunchy, then that's not al dente. If you know what I'm talking about, if you guys are all cooking and you know what I'm talking about, then you'll know. So, and I learned that in cooking. And you there's hair on me. No, I'm not gross. It's just I'm weird about hair, like I said. <laughs> I never said that, but there's a new fact about Lisa Draws. I don't like hair on me or on me. Yes, I know. I have long hair, but I can't. I don't know what to do. It's just if it's on me or if it's somewhere places it shouldn't be, then I really get really weird and irritated. Like, it's a weird pet peeve. But, okay, so we're in that position of boiling. Also, with an, I know too many things in one v little video. So, when you're cooking in the um, kitchen, you don't leave your station. The reason why is because you can cause some um, harm and to yourself. It can be a lot of danger, and you can get hurt. And if you, do, if you play around the kitchen, then you'll get hurt. And like I said, very important. Please do not get hurt. And... That's why you say the station. So, as you can see the steam, I don't know if you can. That's cool, you can. Okay. So, I was like, kind of weird because I don't know how to correctly do this. You can see the steam, right? Okay, so that's okay. Right? There's nothing to be scared about steam, especially I noticed myself. I like using the um, stove more than the um, bottom half of this. I don't know what it's called. I like using the top part, not the bottom part. Uh, like I don't, I don't, like can't think of the words right now. But that's okay because we're all about cooking. Then. We're all about cooking ramen, of course. Uh, so, um, these are directions for later. But right now we are paying attention to the water boiling in the uh, saucepan. There you go, saucepan. That's the word of the day: saucepan and al dente. If you don't know what saucepan or I mean al dente means, look it up or ask your parents or anything like that. Uh, I know from experience, I'm cooking for a little while, and before I was cooking, I never liked to cook, except now I do, because I learned how to do the basics. I took in a culinary class one time, and I took a class with another teacher, then he told me how to cook, and I was like, huh, that's really cool, because like, when I began to cook, or I've like I've never learned how to cook like at all. Nobody told me how to do the basics. Nobody told, nobody told me how to like. Oh, what does this noodle mean? When it's like all not crunchy and like all broken up and then you know. So we call it al dente. I didn't know what al dente meant, so he told me. You know that's cool. So I learned a lot of stuff. You know. So okay. So it's starting to boil, but it's okay. We can take out the noodles. So like I said, just like you're making spaghetti, same way as. Every time when you have the uh, different noodle, it's kind of different, but it all does the same thing, you know? When, like, okay, um, I'm trying to figure out uh, the best way to explain it. Like, um, you get a shot and you, it feels like the same way, or like you hurt yourself accidentally, or someone kicks you uh, in the head for some reason, then it feels all the same way, you know? Because we're all human and we all have to do the same thing, kind of similar. So, Put the noodles in there. Do not be afraid if it kind of spills in you, but don't let it play there little hard either. So put the noodles in there and see it's in the form one. I'm gonna show you. See when there's like bubbles in there, and so this is what it looks like it's in there. Um, so you can, that's how you can tell the fan of uh, the uh, stove is on. That's okay. You don't have to worry about just. Do it a lot, and then you'll get used to it. Get better at it. Yeah. So as you can tell, I'm really nervous about the camera. Um, one of the few things that helps me with anxiety is just like cooking and getting my mind out of the place. I always think about the negative. I always think about the positive. With me, it hits me pretty hard. But I try always think about the positive. Always try to. And when you think about the positive. It always gets better and you always get better and if you don't think about 
like, the, if you always think about the negative, the negative will come to you. If you always think about the positive, it'll go away. So, if it doesn't, then think about something else that like, helps you, or like, you can talk to your friends, or socialize, or watch something, or, um, uh, sometimes today socializing helps, watching YouTube helps, sometimes I do watch my own videos, but that's okay. Cooking helps, um, doing chores around the house, doing like regular things you normally do. I know it's scary, but we'll all go we're all go through this together and we all do we all do go through it. And I'm pretty sure YouTubers go out through it too, like me, of course. Um, I'm pretty sure maybe this artist of Mickey Mouse too. I don't know exact real name. Uh, the Walt Disney. I think so. It's okay. So Walt Disney, I'm pretty sure he must have anxiety or something like that. But there are some stars out there, there are some celebrities out there that that actually do have anxiety. They go through it and they actually want to entertain you guys and make you guys happy. Like Jim Carrey, I know he has ADHD, I believe. Um, did you know that... Um, I'm trying to think of, like, uh, Adam Levine, I believe he has ADHD. Um, I know, ADHD and anxiety is totally different. But it's a mental health thing and mental health can't bring you down if you bring yourself down then that's why you bring yourself down because you you do that to yourself it's i know it's harsh to hear it but it's okay um also try to remember and try to get your mind off of the negative or saying the positive like i said um like you can draw you can listen to music you can go outside and play you can go for a walk you can i don't know wash yourself i don't know take a shower uh you could do your everyday life is normally stuff that you do, and it helps a lot with anxiety. It just like goes away, just like that. Sometimes it may not, but sometimes you can take medicine for it. You, sometimes you can go into therapy and figure out, huh, maybe that's cool. Maybe the technique that he or she that taught me that I can get better at my anxiety. There's many things in the world you can actually figure out when you have anxiety. You know you can get better at it. You know sometimes like, hmm. I don't think I can get better at this because you're letting yourself down. You need to pick yourself back up. And I know it might seem hard and I know it might seem really tough, but I believe that you all can do it. If I can do it, if all of the stars can do it, like movie stars, celebrities, probably even, I don't know, um, I'm trying something where we think of that. Adele. Adele has anxiety. She writes music to help her anxiety. Or some songs. You can like there's famous people out there that have anxiety. You're not alone. You all we all have this type of thing. If you don't have it, then if people say like, oh, I have anxiety. If you don't have it, then you don't know how to explain it. You don't like know how to feel it. All these other mental health things don't. They can't bring you down. It's just one thought that you have that can bring you down. But you know that it will always get better. It always will. If you say the negative, then you'll always go negative. And I beg you guys to go to the positive. Sometimes, yes, even myself, I come with a negative fact or negative idea. Like, oh, I don't think it's going to get better. But you tell yourself, it's always going to get better. I'm okay. We always go through this. You're perfectly fine. Yes, even talking to yourself helps. I've experienced that almost half of my life about now. 15 years to be exact. Don't ask me. I'm not a professional. But, yeah. So, the noodles are like, not, uh, this is not other thing. This is like, they're still the same way. Like, they look on the package, but that's not how they're supposed to be. They are supposed to be like spaghetti noodles, you know? But they're like all thin and like smooth. That's a al dente. So, non al dente is this. Okay? So, again, uh, professional. Professional. Blah, 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 blah. But it's okay. Also, with the sauce packet, this is what you do last. Um, I have a bowl right here. And I have my fork. This is all later. But right now, this is the star in the boil. I'll show you guys again. I know we're talking about boiling and al dente and all noodles. All these were different, like, words, but I believe that everybody else does this, and they do it. It's okay. Um. Yep. But when you have glasses, it kind of sucks, too, because some things in life bring you down. That's life, because 
life is teaching you you need to power through this and you'll never get better until you do something or you conquer something or it can be anything really um a lot of things bring you down yes but a lot of things can also bring you back up um okay sorry i was still talking but let's, kind of, let's hold to that for, for a second excuse me so it's starting to boil that's okay next part is to put the timer for three minutes that's okay that's exactly how you do it so if i did that let me just show you a better view sorry my live angles aren't the best but what i did is push let's push off for a second show you exactly how i did that so i pushed the timer okay on on and then push number three just like in the mic on the microwave it's just a bit different and then you push start then it starts counting down and then that means it's just like a microwave just like a bigger complicated microwave it's all scary and stuff but it's okay okay we'll get through this okay so now all i have to do is uh stir it and please remind you if you are building anything making anything or even thinking about micro something please oh please oh please read the directions we all know what happens when we don't read the directions it's all messed up and that would be kind of bad <laughs> i've learned that i'm pretty sure a lot of people have learned that the hard way but uh <laughs> we all learn it and we all think it's funny sometimes we all think it's bad well, that's called emotions okay emotions are okay emotions are what show you that you're smiling, you're happy, it shows you that you're a person, and we all do this, we all eat, we all sleep, we all go to the bathroom, we all go take a shower, we all do the normal thing, we all eat, sleep, just like as we do it's baby, just, but a bit more evolved. Anyway, anybody out there that's a Pokemon fan, I'm pretty sure, evolving and all that good stuff. I'm just like a fan, a little bit here and there, but like I said, I don't know... A lot of the things out there that life can bring you down, but push yourself back up, you'll get better, and I know that we all will get better, and eventually, there's some negative in life, but that's life, like I said, um, life can bring you down, it's okay, because we learn from our mistakes, we learn from life, and life shows us that we learn so many different things, and our life like we mess up then we're like oh i remember what that is now boom i just overpowered you now so yeah and again sorry for the doggo i um have you seen my other video with my sister and my little dog chase that's chase in the background sorry so we're getting to the point to al dente so this is what it should look like if it's al dente. Like it's soft, and all you do, wait until this timer beeps, and then I'm good to go, and then I can put this into there, dump out some of the broth, or what, aka juice, whatever I use it, or call it. So whenever this timer goes off, and then this is ready, I turn it off, and there's a button right next to it on the bottom that says, it's in red. This is off or clear. So you're gonna push off. It's kind of the same button, but okay. like I said, so in a few minutes it's gonna beep, and then I'm gonna turn it off, and then we can turn this off. There we go. Turn that off. Put this off. Off. Put this on the off side, and then we are good to go right here. Then we can make sure to put this over here. Make sure you guys can see all the nice um detail show you I guess um you put this on here make sure you be really careful especially me because I'm very clumsy that's okay you all learn from mistakes and then also another fact of me I always loved ramen as a kid and I still love it to this day because I'm not sure why I just always brought to me joy and happiness, and I don't know, but like, I don't know, probably it's all full rainbows, I don't even know, but that's okay. Now, what we can do is put 
this in here. This is like the broth, basically. There were many noodles. And I can put this in the, the middle. Grab our fork and our seasoning. So this will be turned into the juice. The juice. Put this in here, and then it becomes the broth. We all know and love. Um, put the broth in there. And stir it up. Make sure it's all mixed in. You can dump out some of the water too. So I probably put too much water because it says I need like uh, two cups of water. And um, if that happens, then you probably add some more uh, seasoning. But we all learn from mistakes. We all get better from them. So yeah, let's give it a taste and. I'll talk about more of that after all. So this is al dente. Remember when I told you like it looked like so this is non al dente right here. So this is al dente. There you go. That's a better way to explain it for you kids. And anyway, before I case this, I want to tell you guys thank you so much for watching Wolf's Draws. I'll see you guys next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to click the bell icon. Tell me that you guys watch more of my videos. Thank you for what. Thank you for watching, listening about mental health, how you can get better at it, anxiety, ADHD, enrollment, and childhood, more, more things about me. I'll see you guys next video. Bye!